Hi again, uh, another flip geometry video for you. This time it's video number three. And now we're moving on from our area discussion of rectangles to look at the parallelogram. You can imagine the parallelogram is simply a rectangle, you can see it by the, the uh, red dashed lines, that's been pushed over. And we know it's a parallelogram because this line and this line are parallel. This line and this line are also parallel, so that's what, by definition, makes it a parallelogram. Now, in this case, there's a couple of things to recognize. The corners here and here have not changed from our corners of our original rectangle. This distance here between here and this corner has also not changed, as in that distance there. So essentially, our base, which was B in the other rectangle, and our little h here, the height of the actual parallelogram that way, has not changed. So that's why when we're looking at the area of a parallelogram, it's the same thing. So we take the base and we multiply it by that height. So in this case again, if our base is 5 and our height is 3, we would get the same idea. So if our base is 5 and we put it in here and our height is 3 and we're working here, let's say it's in meters still, we would end up at 15 square meters. So the actual area of that parallelogram is identical to the area of the rectangle that we were working with before. So if you're working with a parallelogram like this, the key idea is that you need this height, this perpendicular height. So you'll notice that I indicated here there's a right angle and it's coming down straight from the top right to this vertice. You can also use the height on the outside here that I indicated. Or, if you notice, there's a third option right there that would give you that same height. Or, on the inside here. So there's a number of places where H can be found. The only other thing to consider here is the idea that the area of a parallelogram is determined by that h and not the distance along the line itself. So not this distance here and not this distance here. It has to be that perfect right angle from the base. So wherever you've defined your base, it has to be a perfect right angle up. That's what makes the h here. So that's how we end up working on a parallelogram's area. Thank you.